Have you ever wondered how our feline friends went from wild hunters of the wilderness to the cute, cuddly companions we adore? The domestication of cats is a fascinating journey, one that stretches back thousands of years, and it's a tale worth telling. Picture this. The year is approximately 9500 BC and we're in the Near East. Here, wildcats started to wander into human settlements. They were not invited, but they found an abundant supply of food in the form of rodents that were attracted to the humans' grain stores. It was a win-win situation. The cats got easy meals and the humans got pest control. As time passed, these wildcats started to adapt to their new environment. They became tamer, more tolerant of humans, and their behavior started to change. Unlike dogs who were actively tamed and bred by humans, cats essentially domesticated themselves. Fast forward a few millennia to ancient Egypt, around 2000 BC. Cats had become a common sight in Egyptian households. The Egyptians revered cats and even worshipped a cat goddess named Bastet. Killing a cat, even accidentally, was considered a grave crime. Cats were so valued that they were often mummified and buried with their owners. From Egypt, the domesticated cat spread to the rest of the world. The Romans, Greeks and later Europeans during the Middle Ages all kept cats as pets and for pest control. Their popularity continued to grow and by the 19th century, cat shows and breeding programs began to appear, leading to the variety of cat breeds we see today. So. What have we learned? First, cats essentially domesticated themselves by choosing to live near humans for an easy meal. Second, the Egyptians were the first to truly appreciate cats, not just for their practical use, but also for their companionship. Third, from Egypt, the domesticated cats spread across the globe, adapting to different environments and cultures. The story of cat domestication is a testament to the adaptive nature of these incredible creatures. They went from wild predators to revered deities, from feared witch familiars to beloved family pets. And while they may still retain a bit of their wild streak, we wouldn't want them any other way. So the next time you see your cat lounging on your couch or hear it purring in your lap, Remember the long journey these creatures have taken to be with us. It's a journey that spans thousands of years and countless generations, a journey of adaptation, survival and companionship. And it's a journey that continues even today as our understanding and relationship with these beautiful creatures continues to evolve.